Transformers toy review of uh, Beast Hunters Predator King. Uh, so this is the new one that's just come out uh, retail over in the UK. Um, I picked this one up from Tesco uh, for 24 quid. Um, although I understand he's actually available at Entertainer for um, nearly £10 cheaper, uh, £15, uh, which is a real bargain. Um, you see he's uh, pictured here in uh, robot mode. Uh, there's lots of nice see-through bits on him. Uh, the wings got some great detail on see-through um, um, orange, and the plastic here, although it shows quite dark here, it's more like a, a light purple. These sort of areas with light orange in here. He's got this massive sword and a blast as well that fires a missile as well. And he's actually uh, really big. Um, so I've I've got the other two Predakings. Um, one of which is my son's, the, the one with the glow up eyes, I think it's my son, son, so I'll show you first of all him compared to the first one, so this is like the um, Voyager one, so you can see them kind of side by side, and he's a lot bigger than, um, you know, comes up, the other one just comes up just past his is his waist admittedly on all of these ones they've got you know really long legs so they're quite lanky um you know the this one on the on the side here is still decent um there's nice color variation with the black gold and the orange um you know you've got nice bits of detail on him the face sculpt's pretty pretty good on him as well um but this guy's really good um i haven't yet transformed him yet so um, I'm going to try and transform the first time round on camera just to see um, how easy he is. I know the Optimus Prime one is basically an upscaled one of the uh, like the Cyberverse one. So um, I did have to see that one. I didn't think much of it um, at all. I thought it looked quite poor actually. Um, so this is the other one. So. You'd expect this one to be loads bigger considering it was retailing at like 50 quid at some point. You can see it's only just a bit taller. The wingspan on the one with the light light up um, bits is, is they're, they're actually about the same size height wise. If anything I'd probably give it to this guy over here, just because the the horn on this head's a little bit higher. This one's definitely on the right hand side. Definitely got a bigger wingspan, and he's a bit bulkier. So, if you're going to say they were, you know, different characters, you'd probably say this one's kind of like the big brother of this one kind of thing. But you know, it's marginal. There isn't a lot in it. Uh, I know you can pick this one up here uh, a little bit cheaper now. He seems to be on sale various places. You could probably pick him up for twenty five quid. Um, and also as well, um, show you the the sword on this one. Oh, I'll just put this one down a second. Is yeah, so the sword's about the same size, but you can see this one. There's a lot more detail, and it's a little bit wider as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and. And I think generally the, the thing with the other one is, I mean, it's very cartoon. Um, it's very much like the cartoon one, I would say, you know, with the really dark, you know, like jet black and the orange bits, you know, very orange on it as well. But um, some of the details lost on it because it's just too black. Whereas on this one, it kind of lights up quite well. You can see all the detail on him. He looks really cool. Um, as far as articulation and everything, uh, his head can just swivel around like that. Um, he's, he's very clicky. So there's a, a swivel there. Can you hear that? <laughs> and yeah, I have to move his wings back a little bit to, to move it all the way up. But nothing's loose on him at all. Uh, the wings here, you can have them back like that. 
so they're kind of like at an angle. He's got a gun here, which he can hold in his hand, and he's actually got proper hands on this one, um, rather than the actual claws. So that's quite good, and that fires out. I think that's a friction missile, unless you just press it in. Yeah, that's just like a friction missile, so you just have to push that one in. Like that. Uh, legs, all the way up. There's a swivel there, and then this bit's really stiff. <laughs> there you go. That goes all the way back and out as well. Oh. This guy needs some cod liver tablets or something. Oh. There you go. Um, yeah, so it's nice and poseable. Uh, it's got the dragon head at the back here, which, which is kind of hanging down. I don't know. We'll have a look at that one once we get him transformed. Doesn't look like the mouth opens up or anything. So that might be a slight downer. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's try and get him transformed. So, kind of guessing this. There is obviously instructions with this. I haven't had had a look through it, so I'm just kind of winging it. Um, so there's no movement on here. So I think you just move. Uh, yeah. So it looks like you just move that forward like that. The same on this side, I guess. And then. It looks like you just bring the head round like that. You probably swing it round like that so you cover up the head. Like that. So that's like that. Looks like you just move these forward like that. So you've got him his claws facing forward like that. So it looks pretty easy to transform actually. And then at the back here, you've got his these leg bits here, so you just fold them out like that. Looks like you fold these bits in here as well. And there's no articulation at the waist or anything like that. So it just looks like you just fold these legs in on themselves. So then they Like that. Oh, and then ah, there's a little slot there. And they just go into there, like that, and then the same on the other side. Oh, slot that in. Like, come on, like that. Come on, I can't see what I'm doing here. There we go. So that didn't want to go in there. Um, you can have the wings like that. You then bring his legs down like that. So he's standing up like that. And then presumably you just pop his tail in at the back. Um, where am I? Where is it? Does it actually slot in? Can't see the hole for it. Oh, I see. So you've got uh, two little pegs either side here, and they just come in either side here, his back end here, and you just like that, and you can then. Kind of move this up and down. Um, he's pretty cool, actually. I mean, he's pretty, pretty basic. Um, I think he works better in robot mode than he is than he does in this mode. But I still think he's he looks really cool. Um, I do like. I really love the wings. These come out like this. You can have it like that. 
I think the only thing is you haven't got any um, movement in the mouth here. So it would have been good that this could have opened up or anything like that. It's all hard plastic, so on the other ones you've got quite a bit of soft plastic on here. And this is like a lighter yellow compared to all the rest, which is kind of um, orange on him. But yeah, that's pretty cool. What I'll do as well is I'm going to um, add uh, a couple of um, photos and stuff on the end here just to show you what he looks like against the others in dragon mode because I haven't got those uh, changed as yet. Um, so I'll just add those on at the end so you can see what he looks like against the other ones in dragon mode as well. But yeah, really impressed with this guy. Um, 25 quid, not so sure, but uh, if you can pick him up from Entertainer, for say, I think it's 14 or 15 pounds, I definitely buy him. Um, like I said, I've got these other two, but I think at the moment this one's my favourite. You know, obviously the the larger one's got the light up gimmick and stuff like this, but this guy just looks cool in both modes. I think slightly favour him in in robot mode out of the two. I think, but still very decent. And there he is. That's Predator King. Let me know what you think, guys. Um, please comment, subscribe if you're not already. And see you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.